And we have some good news from Kashmir. A region which suffered decades of terrorism is finally enjoying the fruits of peace. Investors are turning to Kashmir. This was unimaginable just a few years ago. Today, Kashmir is a tourist hotspot and it's attracting foreign investment. Dubai's Imar Group will invest a total of 500 crore rupees. This includes a mega mall project and IT towers to be set up in Jammu and Srinagar. It's significant, A, because of the money and development that will follow, and B, because this is a vote of confidence from an Arab nation for India's vision of Kashmir. So how did a terror-infested valley become an investor destination? Our next report tells you. अनुच्छेद 370 के सभी खंड लागू नहीं होंगे सिवाय खंड के It was August 2019 the government of India revoked Jammu and Kashmir's special status by abrogating article 370 Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh were made two separate union territories governed by the Indian government and with this move the story of Kashmir changed forever Today Kashmir is attracting global investors the first big player is the United Arab Emirates. A group called Amar is turning to Kashmir. This is the same group that built the Burj Khalifa. Now Amar is making a $60 million investment in Kashmir. That's close to 500 crore rupees. They will build a shopping mall and an IT tower in Srinagar. Construction is expected to be completed by 2026. Kashmir's administration says this is the first FDI investment in the region. The mall will be spread over an area of 1 million square feet. It is expected to generate 7 to 8,000 jobs. The mall will have more than 500 shops, most of which will be operated by UAE-based companies. And this investment has not come out of the blue. Some structural changes have been made to Jammu and Kashmir. After the abrogation of Article 370, the Union Territory became subject to 890 central laws. Around 250 state laws have been eliminated and another 130 have been amended. In 2021, Jammu and Kashmir administration announced a new industrial development scheme. This is worth more than 28,400 crore rupees. The goal is simple, to encourage investment and take industrial development to the block level. In the same year, investments started pouring in. Kashmir attracted investments worth $2.5 billion in 2021. Last year, the figure shot up to more than $15 billion. And in the last two years, Jammu and Kashmir has received investment proposals from more than 5,000 companies. The UAE is one country that is very upbeat about investing in Kashmir. In January last year, it agreed to deliver projects worth over $1 billion in the valley. These include the development of industrial parks, a medical college, a speciality hospital, logistic centers, IT and multi-purpose towers. Remember, this is an Islamic nation investing in India's vision of Kashmir. It's a huge vote of confidence for the government and a setback to the Pakistanis. Investor confidence in Kashmir is a direct fallout of the improved security situation there. Kashmir is now relatively safe. 16 million tourists flocked to the valley last year, and now the UAE's big investment will have a domino effect. MR CEO Amit Jain said the investors should take a cue from the Emirati group. He said, and I quote, This is the start. We should inspire people. People should aspire to follow us. Not very long ago, Kashmir was a region which made news for terror attacks and stone pelting. Today it is in the headlines as a destination for investors. It's a win for India.